The m &R's Forest Fire Index is low, and I don't think we need sprinklers this summer at all. Details coming up on today's show. Stay tuned. We took a look at the City Hill webcam, looking at the Gillies Lake webcam. No difference, just different location, same overcast skies, lots of rainfall, not too many people enjoying the venues. Let's hope that changes for tomorrow, for Canada Day, and a final day of Stars and Thunder. What's going on with this rainfall and the overcast skies? Well, we're looking at something we talked about a couple of days ago before taking a break yesterday. The slow pressure system is 47 miles straight line southwest from Timmins, right over Gogama, Ontario. Travel Highway 101 to 144 halfway down the highway from Timmins that is or halfway up 144 from Sudbury and there's Gogam. We should take a visit there sometime. This blue and red line is a frontal boundary. It's a line of warm and cold air stuck together but it's very lightly trying to get along with each other in the upper atmosphere. The weather network does say that this system is actually considered a high level or upper level disturbance. We're just sitting in the upper level of the atmosphere and just producing this consistent neutral cycle if you would of rain drizzle fog and mist if you would temperatures are below seasonal not where they're supposed to be for northeast ontario but because it is counterclockwise rotation around these systems we got the southwest wind flow with temperatures above where they're supposed to be with showers and thunderstorms for parts of southern ontario let's connect the dots guys number one low pressure over manitoba number two low pressure over minnesota wisconsin low pressure number three here at home in between all that this tangled spider web if you would of air masses is why it is so humid, grained all over northeast Ontario. The public forecast with the Weather Network says Timmins could see an additional 2 to 4 millimeters between this evening and going into tomorrow morning. There still might be a residual rainfall going into Canada today, but we're really hoping that the system will weaken itself up and try to at least stop the rainfall, one or two, break up the clouds and begin to dissolve or dissipate to give us some kind of a favorable meteorologically appreciated candidate if you would some of the regional observations i took around the midday between 12 and 1 o'clock not impressive temperature wise that's for sure not impressive sky conditions wise mid to high teens overcast skies a light rain drizzle and fog right across the entire viewing area we'll be taking a break again tomorrow for canada day enjoy your statutory holiday and we're hoping to come back sometime sunday to wrap up the month of june temperature wise thanks for tuning in happy 150th birthday canada and hello, Muskoka Tourism. I'm in touch on Twitter with a lot of folks from Muskoka. Enjoy your uh, Friday today and enjoy your Canada Day Tourism Weekend in Muskoka. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next month.